It would be really fantastic to get through to the final. There will be obviously some nerves, but I feel confident that it's almost very likely not to go wrong. <laughs> And finally, 19-year-old William Dutton clinched the strings title with a virtuosic display on the violin. William is a risk taker and I quite like that in a violinist. He came on and, and sort of with an attitude that whatever happens, happens and he, he really played his socks off. From the moment you played the very first note, we all felt as if we were in front of a well-seasoned professional. Do you get nervous? I do get nervous, especially before, quite a long time before a performance, on and off. So my teacher's been talking me through ways of getting over the nerves. I really wanted to play my absolute best, and I managed to just about calm the, the pre-nerves and then was able to go on stage feeling very comfortable. Last to perform in this BBC Young Musician semi-final is violinist William Dutton, who showed tremendous flair in his winning performance in the strings final. Now in the semi-final, Will is presented with a different problem. His good friend Menachem, who accompanied him during the strings final, became ill just days before the semi-final. The school has two accompanists, and one of them, Nigel Hutchison, bravely said that he'd do it. Um, we rehearsed two days. We rehearsed this morning for a couple of hours and yesterday for a couple of hours, and it's another challenge to try and make music in a completely different way, and I hope that tonight we'll be able to give a performance that Menachem will be proud of. So, here is William Dutton, the last of our competitors in this BBC Young Musician semi-final. He opens his program with a piece full of Jewish motifs, Nigun by Ernest Bloch. For me, the Bloch Nigun is a really special piece. I first learnt it about four or five years ago with my old teacher, Simon Fisher. Fisher was a student of Ephraim Neiman at the Guildhall School who studied himself with, with Bloch. And there's things that Bloch didn't write down in the score that have been passed down to Ephraim Neiman, to Simon, to me.
Will's proud parents and brother in the audience enjoying his performance. To end his programme and this semi-final, an arrangement of Rimsky-Korsakov's Le Coq d'Or by Ephraim Zimbalist. It makes me feel like I'm having a good time. You can be as romantic as you like. You can really, really play around with it and use these, so many different colours. You can try different things every time you play it and you can still be convincing even though you're doing it in a completely different way because there's so many possibilities.
performance there from 18-year-old William Dutton, bringing this semi-final to a close. He has that thing that all great violinists have, which is a real ability to play with elegance and grace, but also strength and power. Brilliant. I felt you were taking risks. Yes, taking a few risks. Taking a few risks. I tried to really let go and just play. I really enjoyed William's playing. I thought it was incredible. It's unbelievable kind of chromatic wizardry. His fingers are like an octopus whizzing up and down the fretboard. But I might have liked a little bit more variety in the pieces that he performed. Really, really strong performance. A very relaxed stage presence. But this incredible sound that filled every corner of the hall. I think he played really, really well, so hopefully, you know, he can get through. William's programme showed off a lot of his qualities. Technically, he's clearly absolutely on the button. There could have been a little bit more variety in what he was performing. It would have been amazing to hear him play some Bach. Yeah, some Bach or yes. yes. Beethoven. Or Beethoven, yes. yes. Different qualities. Just the colours that he was getting out from those two pieces. Imagine all the colours that he can get out from other repertoire as well. Well, we've got to choose three out of those five to go through to the final and play their concertos. Mm. So the wait is almost over. The audience have their favourites, but who have the jury chosen to go through to the final of BBC Young Musician 2014? To make the announcement, Myra Bowen. We've been treated to an extraordinary display of musicianship and virtuosity tonight. And of course, it's been incredibly hard for us to whittle these five exceptional young people down to the three who will get to play concertos in the final. It's my pleasure to announce that the three performers who will progress to the final of BBC Young Musician 2014 are Martin James Bartlett, Sophie Westbrook and Elliot Gaston Ross. And there we have our three finalists, Elliot, Martin and Sophie, who gave it their all in tonight's performance, delighting the audience and jury alike. Huge congratulations also to Will and Matilda, who leave this competition as outstanding category winners.